Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, you might be in a situation where you need to create a bunch of directories at the same time uh, on your Windows machine. I'm going to use PowerShell to create all of these directories at the same time. And let's go ahead and create some new some new countries, new create new countries, create new file names. And since we want to be safe, we're going to remove all spaces in the file names. And let's go with last one, which will be <coughs> Ukraine. And we save that file. Now with uh, PowerShell, it's pretty straightforward, but it's even even better when you use the GitHub Copilot, which is active. And I'm going to <clears throat> tell Copilot what I want it to do. So countries variable, list of text strings. And actually I should probably spell countries correctly. And it's in <clears throat> the file name named countries. You see that? That's very nice. So I need to declare the variable countries. There it is. And let's see if it's smart enough. It is to get the, um, the file equals file countries, but we want to use the get content path. So let's see if it's smart enough to pull open our get content. There we go. And okay, so now it picked up the path. And I don't know where users jam desktop countries came from. Uh, but I'll go ahead and accept that because I have my own actually, I might be able to do that from here. <clears throat> if I use the backslash, it will start to give me uh, some file paths, but I don't really remember where I put all of this. So I'm just going to go straight to the source. I'm going to copy the path, shift alt C, control V. And there it is. So that is my full path. And I'm happy with that. So now let's loop through. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, uh, Power, PowerShell and GitHub what I want. I'm going to loop through the countries list. And, oh, do you see that? And create a directory for each one, which is what I want. I'm going to use, I want to use the, uh, the new item commandlet, which is good. And the item type, item type is a directory. I'm liking this. And now <clears throat> let's see if it's uh, smart enough. It's not prompting me with anything yet. So I'm going to type for each, for each. Okay, now for each country in countries, yes, new item path, see users, item. All right, so I'm going to hit the tab key and new item type is directory. Very good. I like all of that. What I want as well is to uh, write the output. Let's say write, uh, there it is, write output and uh, created for country, but let's also do a write output, write output, and actually country itself. I want to make sure. Maybe it's a duplicate, but I'm going to go with safer than sorry in this case. So we should now, when I run this with F5, I should get three new folders. Sri Lanka, Canada, Ukraine. And when I F5 this, let's see what happens. Bingo. So now I have three new folders, Canada, Sri Lanka, and Ukraine. Uh, you saw that GitHub Copilot was able to help a little bit. It's not as powerful, I must say, PowerShell and GitHub uh, Copilot are not super chatty to each other as opposed to Python. 
uh, but it does work as long as you know what you want it to do. You have to be very specific with the text, but it will fill out the commands for you. All right, I'll put this into a gist, uh, and the code will be linked in the description. Thank you for watching, and happy computing.